the interviewer asked John, you know, like, well, talk about the fact that you have an integrated cast. So it was the first racially integrated cast on television. And he says very quietly, well, we don't really talk about it. We, we, we just show it. Hi, I'm Marilyn Agrello. I'm the director of Street Gang, How We Got to Sesame Street. And I'm Trevor Crafts. And I'm Ellen Scherer Crafts. And we're the producers of Street Gang, How We Got to Sesame Street. I became aware of Sesame Street the minute it hit the air. It was so different than anything that had ever come on TV before, for children or for adults. I have memories of my dad and I watching Sesame Street together. This whole world that was created drew me in, an entire universe that people can come to know and love as much as if it were neighbors that lived uh, next door to them. We read Street Gang by Michael Davis. We all think we know Sesame Street. It's been around for 52 years now. Not only just the characters of the show, but the people behind it. There was so much more there than I ever even remotely assumed. We talked to Michael Davis, we got the rights for the book. Then the next step was, we need to find a director. I was fortunate enough to do this little music video and I posted a picture on Facebook of me and Ernie. Trevor saw me with Ernie and said, I'm gonna call Marilyn. The people that started Sesame Street with their goal of reaching all children, but especially children of color in the inner city, they threw themselves 150% into this because they all understood they were changing television. And it's hard to remember that this had literally never been done before. Nobody had ever attached educational curriculum in with entertainment. You know, we see a lot of different ways to get involved using your creativity and your heart to make change. I mean, that's a pretty wonderful thing. One of the people that we highlight is John Stone, the original director, head writer. There's an interview that was done between the first and the second season. The interviewer asked John, you know, like, well, talk about the fact that it was the first racially integrated cast on television. And he says very quietly, well, we don't really talk about it. We, we, we just show it. There was no positive father figure role model that was African-American. That was Matt Robinson as Gordon. He was the first. The original tenets of Sesame Street of showing the world in the way that we want it to be, I think that still holds up. In the film, Jim also says, you know, there's only a couple of major influences on a child's life. The home, church, and television. Sesame Street is a part of virtually everyone's life. I think people will go into this movie thinking, oh, we're gonna see those Muppets, we're gonna see our favorite Muppet skits and all these things. But it's really something quite different. It's about how we relate to each other as human beings, how we coexist and how we love. <laughs>